Hi everyone, it is Cotto. Some weeks ago I did a trade with Heidi. I customized the factory blight doll for her and she sent a Luludavo Daisy doll hat to me along with some cute gifts. This is a black wig that she made. She sent an Obitsu body too, which I will pair with the doll head. Daisy arrived with a very cute face-up, made by a face-up artist from Finland. Heidi kindly gifted her edgy doll to me, with some doll clothes and accessories. I really, really love this doll and if you will check my Instagram, you will already see some cute photos of her. But now, let's see how I repainted the daisy doll. I already removed her previous face up and sealed her face three times with Mr. Super Clear spray sealant. I am using soft pastels to lightly blush her face. Here I am using light brown paint to draw her eyelids. I am using red pastel in the corner of her eyes. With the help of an angled brush, I am adding some shadows under the eyes. I am using red pastels again to blush the mouth. Here I am using my white watercolor pencil to highlight the top part of the eyelids. I am using shimmery pastels to blend the colors well. I am mixing brown watercolor paint with water and with the help of a brush I am dotting the cheeks. Before the paint dries I am using a tissue paper to soak up the extra water so the freckles won't be that harsh and intensive. Mm -hmm. 
I am mixing red, pink and shimmery colors and blushing on the top of the freckles. I am taking my time to blend everything well. I am adding a little bit more red to the corner of the eyes. I am using black water coral pencils to darken the inner top part of the eyes, also to draw a short eyeliner. But because the spray sealant has a tooth, drawing with pencils sometimes can look grainy. So I like to paint over the existing lines with water coral paint, so my lines will be looking even. After drawing the base of the eyebrows with pastels first, I am using watercolor paint to paint individual hairlines. I am using the same brush for the bottom lashes. I added the last touches of camera and after applying one more shimmery layer, I am packing my paints away. Here is the finished face up. Thanks to the shimmers, her face is looking bright and young. I also blushed her body, so it's fitting to the face up well. If you enjoyed watching my video, Please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, see you at the next one. Bye!